Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our September Patch Tuesday security update rolling out for Windows 11 24H2. And for this month, the update is KB5065426. And as you can see, once the update has been installed, because it is a mandatory update, the OS build will be bumped up to 26,100.6584. Now there's quite a lot going on with this Windows 11 24H2 update. And first of all, and as always, the update addresses security issues. And just a quick recap, if you missed my previous update videos today, we have 81 flaws that have been patched. None of those are critical, and it's also addressing two zero-day vulnerabilities, which is important because that's out there current, active, and happening. So 81 flaws in total, two zero-days patched, important security update rolling out across the board for Windows 10 and 11. And then, as always, the update will contain fixes and improvements from the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of August. So if you didn't install this update, most of those improvements will be carried over now into this Patch Tuesday update. Now I have posted a whole video on KB5064081. I'll leave it linked because there were 18 new features and a lot more going on. But I'm just going to quickly go through some of the highlights for this video. Go check the video out if you want more information. And just a quick side note, most of these features are still rolling out controlled. And I haven't received most of the new features. And Microsoft is known to do that. They push, they start pushing them, they start pushing them out with an optional update. And then for the next month or two, they roll them out gradually. Now the first I'm just going to mention because it includes a new home page for Recall, that's for Copilot Plus PCs. And when an app requests access to location, camera, microphone, or other device capabilities, Windows now shows a redesigned system dialog box. This is what it was before, this is what it is now after. And there's also a clock in the notification center, which I still haven't received which I think is great. And you'll be able to turn that on or off from your settings, time and language, date and time, show time in notification center. You'll be able to turn that off there and turn that on, which I think is a nice move. And then when you search from the taskbar, a new grid view will help you identify the desired image within your search. And then just to mention this next one, it includes a redesigned Windows Hello interface with more modern visuals. It includes modernized visuals for Windows activation and expiration prompts. And if we just quickly head into my file explorer, I haven't received this yet, but you'll get the general idea. If you right click, the dividers now separate top level icons in the file explorer context menu. So your top level icons are these here at the top or the bottom, depending where you're clicking on your screen. And you should see a divider between those top level icons, which I am still not. Go check it out, see if it's rolled out in your region. And it removes PowerShell version 2.0, which is a good news because that was becoming a security risk. And I have posted on that in a previous video, so just do a search accordingly. But if we head into our legacy control panel and we just head over to programs and features and we click on turn Windows features on or off. PowerShell 2.0 used to be listed here as an optional feature you could enable. It's now been removed. So that deprecation now is complete, it looks like, across the board for Windows 11 24H2. It fixes a known issue and included numerous bug fixes and plenty more. Check the video out. It'll be linked. There's a lot going on in that update. And then with this security update, Microsoft has also rolled out a couple of fixes and improvements. And the first is it fixes an app compatibility known issue, which I have posted on, where it addresses an issue that was causing 
non-admin users to receive unexpected user account control, UAC prompts. When MSR installers perform certain custom actions, this issue could prevent non-admin users from running apps that perform MSR repairs, including Office Professional Plus 2010 and multiple applications from Autodesk, including AutoCAD. And it's nice to see that that known issue has been addressed. And, and as you can see, I have turned my UAC prompts off, never notify, which isn't advised. But for me personally, I just think they are quite annoying. And then the update enables auditing SMB client compatibility for SMB server signing as well as SMB server EPA. That's more for enterprise environments. And there are two input fixes which Microsoft has rolled out with this security update. The first is it addresses an issue that caused certain apps to stop responding input in some input method scenarios. And then the second fix for input addresses an issue that caused some internet information services modules to disappear from RSS Manager, preventing users from configuring RSS using the RSS Manager interface. And then we've got another known issue that's been addressed, where the update addresses an issue that affects audio in apps using the Network Device Interface, NDR for short. And the issues were audio stutters when display capture is on in OBS Studio. And this can also occur after installing KB5063878, which was the August Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 24H2. And that's nice to see. And I've posted on that known issue as well. And that was regarding streaming in OBS and other NDR devices. I don't stream, I only capture my display, so I never experienced that issue, thankfully. And then if you are running a Copilot Plus PC, this release updates the following AR components, image search, content extraction, semantic analysis, and the settings model. So guys, that's more or less what's new in KB5065426 as part of the Patch Tuesday security updates for Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.